So you want to make yourself a pizza, but you only have these Totino's pizzas. Don't worry, we can make it like the professionals with a few very easy, very simple, state-of-the-art tricks. First off, um, every pizza nowadays has a neat kind of cheese with it, but, you know, we're on a Totino's budget, so instead of feta or goat cheese, we're going to use blue cheese dressing. Hmm. Yeah. Isn't that just lovely? But now I know what you're thinking. Royce, that's not nearly enough cheese. Oh, don't worry, that's why we have great value mozzarella. Fresh out of the bag, covered in cornstarch to keep it from clumping. Oh, look at that beautiful cheese. Oh, that's going to give us so much texture and flavor and all those other stuff, those uh, hoity-toity. Food Network stars tell you about. Yeah, where's my TV show, Food Network? I could beat Bobby Flay. All you need is salt and pepper, and you can make anything taste good. Next up, uh, they're looking a little light in the meat department, so we got Buddy Roast Beef. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, oh, just look at that, those slimy, gross, processed pucks of what I'm a... what it... Is purported to be beef. I don't know. We'll have to check the ingredients on that. Oh yeah. Uh, we, we want these. We do, we want to divide it up into four evenly spaced quadrants. Give it a little bit of a. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Okay. It says it, it is only beef, but we don't. We still don't know which part of the cow. Now, it's looking a little, still looking a little bland, so, you know what? We're going to do some everything bagel seasoning. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, baby. Mm. Nice little Parmesan herb crust there. Wait. Yes, of course. How could I forget? Great value Parmesan. Now let's just pop this thing in the oven and we'll give it a couple extra minutes to cook. Let's say about 20 instead of the recommended 15. We'll just go for a little timer here. Twenty minutes have passed. Let's see what abomination we've created. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look too bad, but looks can be deceiving. Let's pull one of these little effers off. Hello. Tastes like fish. I don't know why. Alright, let's give this little apocalypse a try. Dibulge Huh? Well, the cheese bowl's great. Um, surprisingly, it's not that bad. Turns out, blue cheese goes good on pizza. Who knew? Is it disgusting? Yes. Did I... Was Am I filming this for clout just so I can try to say I made a food crime? Yes. But... 
Here's the thing, though. I actually do make this on occasion. Um, not, I don't usually use the blue cheese, but goddamn, I think I might actually start doing it now. Y'all have a good one.